Oh, hello. So I have started on my core data integration, or at least implementation of core data into my app. Whatever it is I'm doing, I'm doing it with core data. <laughs> so there's nothing really interesting about this model, uh, except for the category enum field, the attribute here, category enum. So what I decided to do was store the raw value of the category enum uh, that you saw in my last video. And I'm gonna store that that raw value directly uh, into this into core data uh, under the category enum attribute. Now, the interesting thing about this is that uh, you know I'm I'm using integer 16. There are ever only going to be eight categories plus a default uncategorized category, um, and so I'm just using integer 16 uh, as the type here for the category enum. However, the category uh, enum that I had, uh, that I've specified here, that I've created, this uses an integer. And sure, I might be able to, you know, do integer 16 or something like that. Uh, but I, you know, wanna work with the integer. Uh, and so one of the things that this uh, creates kind of a problem for is like having to go about your code and getting the category off of an item and setting the category on an item. And so I decided to create my own getter and setter for the category um, class that I have here. It's the, the item is an NS managed object. Uh, and so I've just added this category property. Instead of working with this category enum, I've decided to use this category property here. Uh, the way I get the category is by, I basically instantiate a brand new ca uh, category using the integer uh, or the category enum, and then I, I cast it as an integer here, or I return a default kind of uncategorized uh, category. And then whenever I set it, uh, I basically do the reverse. I set the category enum to the integer 16 version of the category's raw value. And this allows me to do some interesting things here. So you, you might remember that uh, at, you know, from my last video, I used to have some code that looked like this. Um, so I had some code that looked like this and then I would use uh, this category variable here. And I realized that I'm probably gonna have to do this all over the place. Um, so instead now, all I, ha all I basically have to do is say item category and then I have access to the category directly here. Uh, I can also set the category on the item. So I can say item uh, category equals, you know, book uh, or or place, whatever it is. Uh, and it knows what I'm talking about because I set the type of the category property to the category enum. Anyways, uh, that was what I wanted to share. I thought that was a pretty cool uh, little thing. It's probably super basic for a lot of iOS developers out there. Um, but this really helps me uh, just kind of set and work with categories within my item class. I'm not sure if this is actually something that's common in the iOS um, development space. I imagine it is. Uh, other options I saw out there were using, you know, the core data. Uh, I think it's called the transformable um, type. That seemed interesting to me. The, the, the whole idea with transformable is that you can save the, the category type itself directly. Um, into core data. And I thought that was interesting, but it seemed kind of weird to me <laughs> to store that kind of object uh, in the database. So my web background, we typically store the enum values directly, uh, the raw value. And so I figured I'd just try to emulate that. But if, yeah, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. Um, you know, if, if you've worked with enums directly like this with core data or when you're storing it uh, in a database somewhere in an API, uh, let me know in the uh, comments below if you're using uh, transformable or if you're just storing the enum value directly or something else maybe. So yeah, that's all I got. All right. Have a good rest of the day.